It's also about how he does it. Joe will want to get rid of this guy. Let's see if he can do it. Joe Joyce, who stopped all but one of his opponents as a professional, he's yesterday. Hammers lost three of his last five, and his best days are clearly behind him, but he has been in with the likes of Tyson Fury and Lewis, Maltese, bags of experience, he's been around the block, but whether he can keep Joe Joyce off him is the big question that he's got to answer. The whether, whether Hammer can keep Joe Joyce off him and keep him from coming forward, I don't think... There's many professional heavyweights in the world today that can do it. Takes too many shots for my leg and probably for his own leg and probably for his team's leg, but extremely, extremely tough. By the Joyce jab and then pay the price for that. Joyce has been landing early and often. Heavyweights have, have made it better enough to finish a fight, but he can really take a shot. It punches he was receiving and taking when he fought Carlos Tackham. Absolutely. Another looping right over the top of the Joyce guard. That's twice. The two best punches in this opening round have both been thrown and landed. He's got a granite. The average man, bone density. So they described it to me that you could drop him. It sounds about right when you look at them. I don't think it's something he wants to test when I take <laughs> your word for Joe Joyce. The question has to be asked is Deontay Wilder. Has he taken that shot? He's got to the face. He was able to take them, but that was enough for me to win the round for Hammer. So Joe Joyce's chin is just fine after a year out. It must be slightly demoralizing for a man who lands shots like that. The fellow you're up against doesn't even take him. Joe just walking forward here as well. I'd like to see him throwing that jab. He's had to see why Usyk beat Joshua. Also saw Daniel Duvall beat Trevor Bryan three weeks ago. He's Both guys going to the body there. There's another one. There's that right hand landing again. Every time he throws it, he finds the target. Yeah, it's got to be, you, and you, you have to ask the question. It's got to be tighter with his left hand, Joe. It's not the first time of fight we've seen him hit with that kind of shot, so it's not something they've been able. It just can't be good to be taking these shots so clean all the time, and you know people have good off here. Yeah, and speaking to Frank Warren earlier on, you know he he says that Hammer's team are up for this fight, and they, they feel like they can win it. So there might be a bit of damage just around the right eye of Christian Hammer in the corner. Landing shots again, he's caught a very excited just to our right of the success that Hammers has to take shots and the fight at a high pace. For them to this though, and, and he's he's been hit far too often for my leg. And it's been a good old-fashioned tear-up so far between the two of them. Let's beat David Price in what was a shock at the time. He's always been pretty durable. Trying to look for that right hand again. Joe was a little bit wiser to it that time. Changing the speed, changing the power in it. I think that's important in this fight. You just need to be careful of that right hand coming over the top. What he's doing here is nice, flat to the distance. He's just holding his hand out, just, just judging him, not letting... Not letting... Trying to let that right hand go behind the jab. Despite the fact the crowd are getting a bit excited on that side. Joyce starting to find his range, got a decent shot through there. Hammer struggling to get off the ropes now. Still smiling, still shaking the head. Joe Joyce trying to raise the tempo a little bit. It's the best round he's had so far. Still feels he can land that right hand over the top, and I think when you know you can land, oh, yeah, the opportunity's going to come. Yeah, and the thing is that, <laughs> but he's already feeling the pace here. Yeah, you can see that he's starting to feel tired. Joe Joyce is reward. They call him the juggernaut for a reason. This is the pressure that he brings, and that's why it's going to be difficult for any single heavyweight on the planet to fight Joe Joyce. Oh. It down, it breaks your spirit, then finishes you off. Another left hand yeah. this time. I'd like to see Joe using the jab a bit. Needs to be better. 
Good body shot in there from Joyce. Not yet, but he's making Hammer have the work at a very high pace, uncomfortably high. But in here at Wembley Arena tonight, Hammer's come with a point to prove. Joyce has taken a couple of rounds to get going, and there he goes. That was exhaustion, Fletch. Saying to his yes. corner and to the referee as that, well. That wasn't even much of a punch, but I'm telling you that is exhaustion. Force from Joe Joyce is the reason why he just fell down there. That was it. I don't even know if it hit him in the back of the head. It might have hit him in the shoulder or the neck. I'm officially working on Christian Hammer. I mean, the big test now is to try and get through the next round. On forward and forcing the pace. How do you deal with that? Well, that's how Carl's got it at the moment as they come out for the fourth round and we'll see how long Christian Hammer can last in there. Having oh. Joyce gets back to work. He's, and he's down on one knee. Just two rounds ago, that was the shot Salas was calling for. He gets back to his feet with a sharp Hammer throwing punches as best he can to try and catch Joyce coming in. Back up at the count of nine. And he's going to be allowed to continue, but oh, take man. any more of those. It's all over. And Joe Joyce out in Joe Joyce style. And he gets the stoppage in the fourth round here at Wembley. I don't even know if it was a good performance from Joe. I think it, you know, he stopped him early in the fight. It was the fourth. And that's something they're going to have to keep working on in the gym. Well, that's win number four for the mandatory challenger for the WBO world title. It keeps him on course for a big fight later in the year. How big? We'll wait and see. But tonight was a night that was about avoiding this fight on him. And he can fight non-stop. I remember Joe Joyce. It was a lovely body shot, but I remember Joe Joyce training with him when I was a pro. Yes, he's got an unbelievable engine, and that's why he will be a problem for any... Yeah, Christian he, just, Hammer. He, just, he just broke his spirit, as you said. He landed some fantastic right hands over the top. Really, really clean. I'm sure they felt nice on Hammer's hand, but then when you have no reaction from Joe Joyce, it's got to be infuriating. OK, let's get the official... Gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, 20 seconds of round number four. Our referee in charge, Victor Laughlin, waves off the contest. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, the juggernaut, Joyce! Joe Joyce is a man who'll give any heavyweight in the world a problem. And tonight, Paul, he did what he needed to do.